notified everyone so as you can see here we have already added strappy which is our backend of our uh, project which has already been added here and also we have already tested the api using using postman.com and as you can see as we have we have just gone through all the steps here we have come to a stage where we were able to retrieve the uh, the api in the form of json format so right now what you want to do is it in this particular part of the video i would like to let i would like to show you on how are we able to extract the api that we have just uh, showed you in the postman and by extracting it i would like to display display the the data at the exact same api which was uh, which, which which was just uh, used post postman to display and in this time we're going to display it into our react project so that's the whole idea of this particular part of the video is all about so in order to do that we need to uh, we, we need to make sure we we need to have like a hook and that hook is what we're gonna use to capture the api and display in our react project so let's create a new folder go to this particular source uh, folder here as you can see this is your source and just open source folder and all you have to do is just need to create a new folder called source within a uh, new called new folder under source called hooks okay so this is the this is the place where we're gonna store the files that we're gonna use it to retrieve the data so that file is let's create another file inside hooks folder and click, click, click on new folder and and type use fetch dot js so in this case this is where we're going to display all this is this is the one that we're going to use it to extract the data from the cms from the strappy cms in the form of json api so i have given the source code for use fetch.js either in the link in the gist github gist in the description or you can also see the external source code in the in this particular section of the video so as you can see here once you have already copied that particular source code for use fetch all you have to do is just paste it like this and there you go you have just pasted uh, the use fetch uh, code source code just for just so that you are able to retrieve the code here and what you can do here is that as you can see what what is happening here is that we are actually using use state to actually to to act as a hook to capture all the data that's coming from the from the rest uh, url so basically the url is what we're going to use to capture the one capture the data so the url is what we have mentioned in the in the previous video which is localhost localhost 1337 slash api slash blocks so we're gonna we're gonna replace that particular link url link into this particular fetch uh, function as a parameter so that's that's the whole idea of using use fetch.js and by doing that we can actually store it into its rest and then put it into a json format and we can actually set it as a data so setting set means is basically it's a use state function where we can use we can set anything to this particular uh, data a variable so that's the whole idea of use fetch now current so currently we have already have use fetch uh, code so the next thing that we would like to have is that we need to go to our react project which is the front end and just need to go to source again we are under source and just need to go to app.js which is the the most uh, the most the root yeah that's the most uh, root fi file of the this particular project so what we're going to do here we're going to add just just this something that we can actually see that do we able to receive the particular api which we have just uh, able to run in our local project in react so let's make sure all the, all of this thing actually running for example npm let's i'd like to npm start the front end project as well as i would like also would like to uh, run the strappy project also by going by changing directly to strappy and i would like to run this uh, strappy folder as well let me just this. so npm npm run develop so make sure both of your front end pre project and your strappy project is running simultaneously and then only you are able to see the see the uh, effect so that's what that's the reason why we are able to 
uh, yeah, that's the reason why we need to make sure both of these terminals are running separately and simultaneously. So, so as you can see here, currently the front end project of React is working. So all you need to do is just need to go here and this is the local host 300, sorry 3000, it's running. And the next is local host 1377 slash admin, let's go to the, let's make sure we are running that local host, local host 1337 admin, make sure you are logged in. As you can see here, I will be already can be already have access to this. So you just need to click on login, and there you go. Currently, I am inside the CMS, and make sure you have you have your content ready, and that's it for now. So next next thing is that we're gonna use we're gonna use the link which we have just used the URL link which is the localhost one double three seven slash API slash box blocks to actually to 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 use to be used inside this React project. So how do we do that? That's the whole part second part of this course the second part of the video is all about so what I'm gonna do here I'll be uh, declaring variables for example let's go to here I'll say const and I would like to uh, declare certain number of uh, uh, variables for example loading then there's error then there's data so these are the three main uh, variables that we would be using and currently I'll be also will be using use fetch uh, function which is already easily can be uh, the I mean imported easily next thing is use fetch so inside use fetch is what we're gonna use we're gonna fill up with the link the URL link of the API which we have just mentioned in the previous video which is HTTP HTTP uh, double Double stroke localhost one double three seven slash API slash blocks. And there you go. So this is what you're gonna use to actually to make it make this particular uh, data to actually save all the data that's coming from this link. So let's give it a test by going and console log. And let's print the data so that's what we're gonna do right now so before that let me just get copy both of this and we can actually paste it here because this is like uh, still out of the, the main app here which is currently we're just gonna test the, the data here whether are we able to retrieve it and the loading is basically when you are when when it's still loading and your app is still loading and the error is when, when you have something error to be displayed so we can display all of it in case if we in case if we are able to uh, find if we uh, encounter any errors so in this case I'll be just gonna display the data like this and I'll be clicking on save and I'll be going to my uh, for this particular uh, localhost 3000 like this and make sure it runs before we can actually test it currently it's compiling so as you can see here it is compiling on our left hand side which is the localhost 3000 and as you can see there's some error here which is use fetch cannot be called at the top level oh, okay okay so that's that's something that we can actually uh, uh we can actually move it just like this and just we can just press it here as well and you click center let me just see is there an error still occurs okay so basically you need to keep your uh use fetch within this particular uh, project app function and let's go to our yeah let's go to this particular local host 3000 and let's go to inspect and just change it to uh, console and there you go I mean sorry let me just go to console and there you go you have two objects here so as you can see here there is something that we can actually learn from here which is uh, and there you go this is the basically the array of your this is the JSON format that you are able to retrieve from your CMS so basically this is the 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 the, the, the the API itself, the content of the API, which is your block title, your block content, which is directly coming from your CMS here, your strappy CMS. So that's the whole idea of this particular course is all about. This particular video is all about. So let me uh, walk you guys through on others, the, pre the next subsequent steps in the next upcoming videos. So until then, thanks for watching.